All right, welcome to the LED Info Test Lab. Today we're reviewing the Flyzon 1500. That's the model PHR15. We've been seeing some of the new Flyzon models hitting the market. These are new models of quantum boards for the 2020 year. So we thought we would grab one and see what's up. We want to take a minute today to talk about actual watts versus rated watts. Now, when we talk about actual watt usage, that's the number of watts, the amount of electricity that's being pulled out of the wall by the light. The rated watts are basically just a number that's given to the light by the manufacturer. For example, let's look at the Viper Spectra VB1000. That light has an actual watt usage of 100 watts. Now we'll compare that with the Mars TS1000. That light has an actual watt usage of 143 watts. Now both lights are rated at 1000 watts, but the Mars is way more powerful. And that's why we're here. We're here to provide a comparison tool for those of you that are shopping for LED grow lights. We've made a list of all the lights that we reviewed. We've looked at most of the popular models. It's in the description section. So if there's another light that you're interested in, check it out. Chances are we've already reviewed it. All right, so here is the Flyzon 1500, brand spanking new right out of the box. The light uses quantum board technology. It has a 15 by 13 inch quantum board. It has 320 LEDs. According to the specification sheet, the light uses white light, warm white light with additional red and infrared LEDs, which seems to be the standard these days for quantum boards. On the flip side, the light has a fog-hold driver along with a nice reflector setup and an easily accessible dimmer switch. So I'm ready to go. Let's hustle over to the LED info test chamber. Let's see what kind of numbers this one produces. All right, we've been reviewing the Flyzon 1500. We have the Flyzon in the test chamber ready to go. It's blazing away. It's hung at a level 12 inches of height, and we've taken great care to place the light directly in the center of the test chamber. We wanted to take just a quick minute today to tell you about the equipment that we use. Our test chamber is a very nice two foot by two foot grow tent that was provided to us by Yellow Sky. For our PPFD readings, we use the Apogee MQ500, which is the state of the art for quantum flux meters, so you can feel confident that our readings are gonna be very accurate. So I'm ready to go. We're going to button up the test chamber, and we'll have that all-important dead center reading here coming right up for you. Okay, so there it is, 1185. That's 12 inches dead center for the Flyzon 1500. So I'll complete the full PPFD grid. We'll post that. We'll also post the test lab review sheet. We'll take a stop by the watt meter, see what the actual watt usage is, and then we'll go on ahead and wrap this one up. So I want to thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time.